there for a while. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Um, let's talk about sofa, guys. So, sofa right now is trading uh, eight dollars, and uh, we are above two hundred moving average uh, in one week. One, uh, let me see for one month right now. So, yeah, we we, we are approaching this week which will be around 8.35 and uh, the charts for so far so far so good very bullish remember on uh, three months charts we have already above 7.96 and that was the achievement that we were looking last week we break that uh, resistance and uh, we, we are above now everything so uh, we are targeting to break 8.35 and 38.41 that would be our achievement for this week and uh, we know uh, when you check the, on the RSI right now on t stock uh, on uh, three months is about is around Nine fifty fifty, which is showing we are on a uh, uh, momentum, and uh, here also is above fifty, and uh, everything on RSI is extremely bullish, and uh, when you check on MACD over here. We know this talk on Friday, uh, it cooled down. But MACD, when you watch the MACD over here, it's indicating volumes coming. We saw this volume, you see something over here, down here, guys. We saw that volume pushing the stock from, uh, from $6 to $9. You see that area? And right now, we saw another one here which push it also stock but now we have this one at the end here which is ex extremely very bullish and uh, it's going to push uh, it's going to push this stock is around here you see that's uh, a chart which is very very bullish and uh, we are going to watch this week, this week, and uh, also news is saying stock is going to be very bullish by now. There is great news over here, and uh, I'm going to read for you right now the news. Uh, the, the great news is here over here. Great news. Uh, great news. Stock. Uh, uh, so here they say uh let's go direct to the this the motel guys for writing about the uh, sofa he say great news for the sofa stock investors and the uh, full contribute last development from sofa and uh, what this could be mean for investors uh Let's, if I don't know if the, this is the video, let's see. Hey everyone, we got some huge news from SoFi as management gave investors a quarterly update. So in this video, I'm going to work through those highlights and explain or discuss what they could mean for SoFi stock investors. So let's take a look at these details. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so SoFi Technologies CFO Christopher Lapointe said that they achieved gap profitability this quarter for the first time with gap net income reaching 48 million, which was an 88 million improvement year over year. That was impressive to be sure. SoFi stock investors were waiting all year to see the company deliver profitability on the bottom line. SoFi delivered on that promise, so investors were happy. The company talked about the segment level activity. SoFi operates several different segments, starting with lending revenue, which increased 10% year over year to 300. 
government benefits were significantly higher, customer balance sheets were in much better shape. And as the economy normalized in 2023, default rates started to increase. That's a troubling trend if you're a SoFi stock investor. The company has billions and billions of dollars of loans outstanding. And if customers are defaulting at a higher rate, that's not good news for SoFi. I like this move to decrease lending. As they observe this happening, they are taking the prudent approach and saying, oh, wait a minute, we've got to stop giving out as many loans. We've got to be more strict in terms of who we're giving loans to because we're starting to see this trend worsen and we don't want to give loans to those lower credit borrower scores. Even though SoFi focuses mostly already on high credit score borrowers, they're being even more strict now. And I would like that move if I was a SoFi stock investor. So I mentioned on the Q4. Uh, SoFi starts the trainings for SoFi. So we here at the, they are planning to, they have, the, the good thing, they have a lot of cash right now. That is the police team. And uh, I show you my chats on SoFi last week. And the uh, survey is on a breakout. So for me, survey is the best if you are an investor. So uh, I have some stocks over there on survey. And uh, by now everything is set up. So on on uh, on we close on Friday when stock goes, we saw this. Uh, pullback on a Friday so we push it from 7.5 to 8 and then stocks going to open tomorrow and it's going to be jump up I believe that one so that's a short time when market open but uh, generally uh, on Friday most of the stock close on red but this one is going to push much on this this week so we are going to watch this another candlestick which follow tomorrow and that will be showing us where we are heading to and um, also i'm planning to talk about palantir uh, uh, which is i will do video about palantir also palantir closes on friday right and uh, in short i want to uh, I don't know if this one can pull Palantir uh, earnings. So we saw Palantir offer here, guys. So I will go to do uh, on my another laptop is pulling more, but this one doesn't pull everything. So maybe daily chat is the one we can show everything. Uh, so let me go back around somewhere. Yes, here. This is what I was trying to show you when T stock trading earnings 2023 we saw this breakout from here from seven dollars we break it like uh, last week after earnings we went the two days consecutive uh green candlestick followed by two days uh cool down and then from that we saw stock rocketing straight and uh, let me show after today or this week and it's on palendia this one we jumped from here and then we did uh three two three candlesticks so the other one was two and then maybe another one tomorrow red candlestick and then the coat of moon so that's the chat is the same thing the only uh, this one for this round was two, three days consecutive uh, green candlestick but this one was two so let's see if this uh, that scenario is going to play yeah thank you so much and uh, enjoy your day bye